What's so extraordinary about this collection is there's 126 pieces and all the different shapes and varieties are represented. So from the plates to the jugs to his manipulated vases, never before has there been an opportunity like this to acquire works of this rarity and from such an exciting period in his artistic production. Picasso arrives in the south of France on holiday in the summer of 1946 and visits the Medora studio almost by accident and is immediately captivated by the plastic qualities of clay. He returns a year later with a sketchbook of designs for new shapes and from that point he is working almost consistently on a daily basis at the Medora studio in a burst of creativity. This is a time of rebirth for Picasso. He's beginning a new relationship with Francois Gillot and he's in a very happy place. Being in the south of France influences him just as it did the Fauves 40 years earlier. What was so important to Picasso was this concept of metamorphosis and transforming something using industrial floor tiles, making them into owls and transforming jugs into voluptuous women. He uses the form of for example, a picture to amplify and to really accentuate the imagery which he's creating. His work in ceramics, it's a combination of all his different practices, his painting, his sculpting, his printmaking and the deep incisions is a real materiality to these works. He really enjoyed the physicality, earth, fire, water. These were the things he was working with to make these ceramics in a very primitive daily lifestyle at the studio and that really appealed to him. The works are alive and you see his determination to explore the possibilities inherent in that medium to the limit of what was possible and that's what Picasso is about as an artist. Breaking the rules, setting a new standard and creating something truly unique. He was not afraid to get deeply involved in a practice that perhaps others considered beneath them and to be a craft. He was at such a confident place by this time. He knew he was a genius, so he could do anything. The energy with which he attacked this work and the invention and the spirit and the excitement really shines through.